All right, folks, Sandra Bros here. I want to talk about a pretty polarizing player on our team, Kenneth Murray. But, uh, you know, a lot of the Charger players seem to think that he's going to have a breakout season. So, guys, let's get into it. Bull Bros! All right, folks, as always, like and subscribe. About 80% of you are not subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. It does help. Okay, folks, I want to talk about Kenneth Murray real quick here and uh, just get a little bit into him. Uh, look, we gave up a lot to get him. Look at the stats last season. Man, 76 combined tackles, 26 assisted, one sack, one interception. Not a whole lot, right? You know, compared to an Eric Hendricks with the Vikings last season, right? He had 137 combined tackles, 50 assists, one sack, one in zero interceptions, right? And I mean, let's even look at Drew Tranquil. Drew Tranquil, a lot of people were like, well, why do we let Drew Tranquil walk? Well, bottom line, Drew Tranquil, you know, he was good, not great, but Kenneth Murray was good, not great, right? So Drew Tranquil had a great season statistically wise, right? So combined, he had 146 tackles, uh, 51 assists and five sacks and one interception, right? So Look, at the end of the day, folks, it's tough, right? It's tough to be a linebacker. And the thing is, is the argument is we gave up so much to go get him, right? I mean, he was, you know, um, we traded up. <laughs> we traded the team's second round and third round pick up to move to the 23rd overall pick to get him. The one thing I will say is this, folks, right? You got to remember, that was an Anthony Lynn pick, right? And I, you know, I know a lot of people like to throw that at Tom Telesco's face and say, hey, Tom. You screwed up this pick. I get it, right? You know, we, we expect more from, from Kenneth Murray. And Kenneth Murray expects more from Kenneth Murray, I promise you. He's, you know, he understands that he needs to get better. We didn't pick up his fifth-year contract. You know, he understands that, you know, he needs to step up. But this was an Anthony Lynn guy, right? Now, the difference is Kenneth Murray doesn't quite fit well within uh, Brandon Staley's defense. But my point is, folks, there's a ton of excitement right now around Murray, right? A lot of the players are talking about him specifically. And everyone's brought up the past. Yeah, Kenneth Murray, this, that, yada, yada. And remember, Kenneth Murray, I think it was on Tuesday, got into it with um, uh, Everett uh, in the middle of the field. They had a little bit of a brouhaha in the middle of the field in, in camp. So, you know, it's, it shows you a lot, right? So one thing Sebastian Joseph Day talked about, uh, K9, I feel like, you know, has a, had a great camp so far. He's comfortable as well, and he's been communicating a really high level. And I can tell I was with him last year, K9. I can tell how much he's growing, right? So we'll see, folks, right? At the end of the day, I just want, I want to, I, I want to see a guy like Kenneth Murray step up and be the dude, right? We all know the guy has physical talents that are beyond 100% of people in America, right? Or anywhere for that matter. I mean, the dude can do it. He just needs to put it on the field. And he hasn't done this up to this part. But again, you got to also remember too, Brandon Staley runs a very different defense. But look, that being said, uh, SJD even talked about him being more vocal and doing more things, right? And the Murray in 2023 and the Murray in 2020 are two different people. I do suspect it's also a little bit of Eric Hendricks. Eric Hendricks has probably allowed him to play a little more free. I promise you they're going to do well together specifically. And again, you all know Deion Henley. I'm a huge fan of that guy, right? Deion Henley is the guy. So we'll see how it plays out, right? I think Kenneth Murray, I'm going to make one prediction. Um, it will be interesting to see if Kenneth Murray actually plays in some of these preseason games. I, It may happen, folks. It may, because... I think this coaching staff needs to see a little more from him. I think they've seen plenty from Dan Henley. I think they like Dan Henley. Dan has better coverage. He's better, a little faster, a little more agile. But Kenneth Murray's got to prove some things, right? But it's good to see the players get behind Kenneth Murray. I know this is a polarizing conversation, folks, but I just wanted to throw it out there. So what do you guys think, right? Um, is it all smoke? Is it all smoke and mirrors? What do you think? I'm, I'm really curious to hear what your thoughts are. So, guys... Let me know what you think. As always, Andrew Bolt Bros, please like and subscribe to this video. As always, see you guys in the next one.